okay dear students let us see what is there in this question an object of mass m is launched from the surface of the earth the earth has a mass capital m and radius r the accession due to gravity at the surface of the earth is g what is the escape speed from the surface of the earth well my dear students uh, uh, for this topic i tell you there is a straightforward formula that even we people can remember and i know that the answer will come out to be root of 2 gr and the uh, root of gr is uh, basically the orbital uh, velocity the orbital speed that is uh, the speed of a satellite in some orbit which is r distance away from the center of the earth and root of 2 gr is basically the escape speed uh, and this r has to be capital r that is the only difference okay but anyways we are now going to derive this thing why because the formula is not given in ib formula booklet i have checked it and also the topic is missing from the physics books which are widely used with for, for the IB. So that is why I am going to provide you with a very uh, small derivation here. Just try to, uh, just, um, try to concentrate here. What is happening here is, let us say this is the earth and a body is here or I can say a rocket is here, fine. Now, uh, when this rocket uh, moves to the outer space and it goes to like let us say infinite distance because what is escape speed escape speed is the speed that must be given to the object that is placed at the surface of the earth once that velocity is given to the uh, to the rocket or to, uh, given to that body that body is never coming back that body is not going to return it means it goes to infinite distance and what do we mean by infinite distance at infinite distance what is the condition the total energy of the body will be taken as zero see so the total energy at the point two so i am calling this as point number two so this will be kinetic energy at point number two plus potential energy so we know that the potential energy at infinite distance is taken to be zero and kinetic it may or may not be zero but because we want the minimum velocities minimum things so we take this energy also as zero so we say that the total energy at that point must be equal to zero so this is uh, at the final position okay so this is the position number one so what is happening is energy is constant mechanical energy is constant and we do not uh, uh, consider the friction and the viscous forces so we can say there are no losses of energy so the uh, total energy at the position number one should be equal to the total energy at position number two so what is total energy here so total energy at position number one will be the sum total of potential energy plus kinetic energy so we know that uh, the sum of potential energy is minus gmm by uh, capital r where capital m is the mass of earth and small m is the mass of uh, the body and r is the distance from the center of the earth plus kinetic energy now we have to give some kinetic energy let us say we have given it escape velocity that is ve so the kinetic energy will be half into m into ve square now this total energy should be equal to this total energy which is coming out to be equal to zero so these energies should be equal to each other and from here we can say half m ve square is equal to gmm by capital R this M gets cancelled with this this two will be cross multiplied and so escape velocity is 2 gm divided by R square root. yes this is the expression for the escape speed that this body should be given so that the body will never come back again it will go into space and it will never return now this VE, it can be written as this also. So we need to find this in the terms of small g. And we know that small g is gm by r square. So what we do is we multiply r for in the numerator as well as in the denominator. Now this thing will become g. This thing will become small g. So it can be written as 2GR. Hence, the answer is P. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best. Bye.